In this video, Shane Van Boning does part one of the Billiard University playing ability exams. Exam one tests fundamental pool skills. If you want to try the exams and see how well you can do compared to Shane, everything you need is available for free on the BU website at billiarduniversity.org. The first few drills are progressive, meaning they get harder when you do well and they get easier when you miss. Ball positioning and drill scores are based on the diamond numbers shown here. You start at position 4 and you get 10 shots. The score for the drill is the position you end at plus any bonus points earned. The first drill is a simple cut shot exercise. Here, Shane pockets the ball from position 4, so he goes to position 5 next. Shane uncharacteristically misses at 5, so he goes back to 4. Now he refocuses and pockets the shot from 4, 5, 6, and 7. Sorry about the lack of audio in the early part of the video, but there was loud music playing in the background, and YouTube doesn't like it when you include copyrighted music in your videos. With each successful shot at position 7, Shane earns a bonus point. Shane misses on his third attempt at 7, but he still has two shots remaining. Here, I was informing Shane that he needed to make the last two shots to get the maximum score of 10 for this drill. As you would expect, he did. Shane ended in position 7 and had 3 bonus points, so he got the maximum allowed score of 10. The goal of the second drill is to hit accurate stop shots, again starting from position 4. You must pocket the object ball and stop the cue ball within a ball of the ideal stop shot position. You are allowed to hit the cushion as Shane does here. Shane let this one roll forward a bit by accident, but he still has six more shots to get back to position seven and earn bonus points for the maximum possible score. Well, the loud music stopped playing, so I'll shut up for a while and just let you watch. There, the cue ball ended up in the object ball starting position, so that still counts as being within a ball of the ideal stop shot position. Barely. Shane missed the 10th shot at 7, so he ends up at position 6. But because he previously earned 4 bonus points, he still gets the maximum score of 10 for this drill. The third drill requires accurate follow distance control. Again, starting from position 4. The object ball is always one diamond ahead of the cue ball. You need to pocket the object ball and have the cue ball end within or overlapping the rectangle target.
A special guest happened to show up at the pool hall while Shane was taking the exam. So I had him say hi to the camera. Again, Shane got the maximum allowed score of 10. The fourth drill requires controlled draw into a 2x1 diamond area. That one barely went beyond the required area, forcing Shane to succeed on all remaining shots to get the maximum score on this tough drill. Unfortunately, he misses this next shot, preventing the maximum score. This last shot is worth two points to end at seven instead of six and to earn a bonus point. Shane finished strong to end with an eight on this drill. The fifth drill tests stun shot direction and speed control. You must pocket the object ball in the side and leave the cue ball within or overlapping the target. With this drill, you have cue ball in hand and the target moves between shots instead of the cue ball. Shane ended in position 6, but had two bonus points for a total of 8. The sixth drill is a ball pocketing drill with five shots on each side of the table. Shane scratched on that last shot, so it counts as a miss. Yeah, 
Shane uncharacteristically missed the last three shots in that drill for a score of seven. The seventh drill is the classic wagon wheel drill with ball in hand on each shot. You must pocket the object ball and hit each of the target balls with the cue ball. You get two shots at each target. Shane got 16 hits out of 20 on this drill, which is very good. The eighth and final drill is classic target pull, where you need to pocket the ball and land the cue ball into five different target positions. You get four shots at each position. All of those were close, but Shane only got one at this position. Here, just for fun, I was challenging Shane to try to land the cue ball on the center donut, which he came close to. Uh, 
Shane was disappointed in his score of 15. That's a good score, but he could easily get a perfect 20 on this drill. Shane ended up with a total of 84 on exam 1 and on the 9-foot table, which qualifies him for the doctorate level exam 2. Remember, if you want to try the exams on your own, everything you need is available for free on the BU website. Good luck, and see if you can beat Shane's scores.